Hello, this is Jeremy Comel, and welcome to Lipid Match Tutorial Part 1. In this tutorial, we'll cover the advantages and disadvantages of Lipid Match versus other lipid identification software, and we'll discuss the workflows that Lipid Match works best for. Those workflows are liquid chromatography tandem mass spectrometry data, specifically high resolution data. Lipid Match has been tested against QExactive data, although it accepts multiple vendor formats. In addition to LCMSMS data, other experimental designs can work for Lipid Match as well. Now, to show the advantages of Lipid Match versus other software, we'll look at three other software that are widely used in the lipidomics community especially MS Dial, which is an open source software, and Lipid Search, which is a paid license software. Now, in terms of identification strategy, Lipid Match is rule-based, and the rule-based identification allows Lipid Match to annotate structures based on the correct structural resolution. For example, Lipid Match if you see the fatty, fatty acyl chains, for example, the neutral loss for phosphatidylcholines in positive mode, and the 184 head group, you can identify it at the level of fatty, fatty acyl chains. So for example, PC 16 colon 0 underscore 18 colon 1. On the other hand, if you see the 184 ion, but you do not see the fatty acyl fragments, then you could tentatively ID it as PC34 colon 1, which is the sum composition of the carbons and saturations, or unsaturations, in the fatty acyl chains. On the other hand, MS Dial and Greasy use similarity scores. So in that case, they're comparing the in silico spectra and how well it matches with the actual experimental spectra, MS dial using a modified dot product method. Now, this similarity scoring, because it's not rule based, does not require, for example, fatty acyl chain related fragments to be observed. And therefore, when MS dial and Greasy, which they always do, report their annotations by fatty acyl chain constituents, we're not sure, unless we look manually at the spectra, whether we actually saw fragments related to those fatty acyl chains or the structure has been overreported. Lipid Search also includes similarity and rule-based annotation and reports the correct structural resolution. In terms of user-developed libraries, Lipid Match has the advantage that users can develop libraries in Excel, and all that's needed is that mass to charge of the precursor and the fragments desired for each species within that class. A tutorial is included in the Lipid Match folder for users to show how you can develop those libraries. They are very manual and intensive and could be automated for future use. MS Dial, you can also add user libraries using the Lipid Blast development templates. While you can easily add the mass to charge values, as in Lipid Match, you also have to have some knowledge of VBA and the intensities based on standards for that Lipid class because MS Dial, as well as Lipid Blast, require intensities for similarity scores. On the other hand, Lipid Match, while it doesn't require intensities for the libraries, uses the sum of the fragment intensities for a specific species to rank lipid identifications, which is a unique identification algorithm. Now, Greasy, also there is no way to add libraries as in Lipid Search 4.1, although in Lipid Search 5.0, users will be able to add their own libraries. Lipid Match is written in R. While MS Dial and Greasy are written in C and C and Lipid Search is written in Java. This allows 
lipid match to be implemented in workflows that use the wealth of our packages in both mass spectrometry related packages, bioinformatics related packages, as well as other statistical related packages. And that helps to design an even more in-depth lipid workflow using lipid match. On the other hand, MS Dial and Greasy, which use C and C, have much faster algorithms for identification. So while lipid match might take multiple hours and even days, Greasy and Lipid Search will take often less than an hour or just a few hours. MS Dial is a medium speed between Lipid Match and the other software, which can take multiple hours as well. So here's just some more information comparing these software. You can pause and take a look at these. Now, Lipid Match works with three major input data files. The MSMS libraries, which come with Lipid Match, although users can design their own. The MSMS data, which is converted into open source format. And the peak list, which can be obtained from open source uh, feature processing software such as MZMine. Now, the features from the peak list we find MSMS scans under those using user inputs of master charge window and retention time window. Once scans are found under each feature, those MSMS scans are queried for each fragment contained in the libraries. And if the fragment's intensity and scans are above the threshold set by the users, that fragment is confirmed for that lipid species under that feature. Now, Additionally, the users can modify the fragments necessary for confirmation, both by lipid class and by lipid fatty acyl constituents. If all of the fragments that were confirmed are needed, that lipid is identified. Then, all those identified lipids are ranked by the most likely hits based on the sum of the fragment intensities. The lipid identifications are then appended to the peak list, which could include your peak heights, any statistical information, etc. And so then you have identifications and lipid annotations as well. Now, one of the big advantages of lipid match is that the annotations are often very high. The number of lipids identified are higher than other software. And that is due to the fact that lipid match has very comprehensive libraries. In total, so here's an example of some of the libraries and some of the sources, including literature, Lipid Map, Maps, and other software such as Lipid Blast and MS Dial. Currently, Lipid Match has over 250,000 lipid species across 71 lipid types. Here's an example of some of those lipid types that were identified and the number identified in a pie chart in blood plasma in positive ion mode. You can see some unique lipids here, including ether-linked triacylglycerides, oxidized lipids, and coenzymes such as coenzyme Q9 and Q10, as well as sulfatides. And these are many lipids that aren't carried in MS Dial or Greasy, for example. Now, I want to also note that lipid match identifications have been corroborated by other software. So for example, in positive IM mode of this Red Cross plasma, 92% of the features that were identified across Greasy, MS Dial, and Lipid Match were corroborated by at least one of those other software. And in negative IM mode, at least one of the other software, MS Dial or Greasy, corroborated one of the lipid annotations by fatty, fatty acyl constituents, 98% of those features were corroborated. Therefore, Lipid Match is performing and annotating lipids very similarly to other open source software. And so that adds more confidence in your identifications using Lipid Match. In terms of future developments, 
We'd love to hear your new applications of Web Match, whether it be for imaging data, direct infusion, maybe adding new MSMS libraries, for example, using photo ionization techniques um, or other types of fragmentation, sorry, um, UV-induced fragmentation or other types, maybe chemically-induced fragmentation, adding those libraries into Lip and Match. That would be very interesting. So thank you for listening, and I hope to see you in future tutorials.